Have you heard of the, the Boatenston Properties International Group? Tell your boss I want a condo on Fifth Avenue. We I got you. Right we got you. <laughs> What's up, Simon? How's it going? Charles Boatenston here, obviously in New York City, Midtown, Manhattan. I uh, shed you a message to potentially do an interview. What's going on, Paul? Charles Boatenston here. Shed you a message in regards to bringing you into our office. Gary, what's going on? Charles Boatenston here. D Rock. What's up, D Rock? Charles Boatenston here, obviously in Midtown Manhattan. Welcome to vlog number 13. Obviously, we're starting it outside. We have some uh, nice background noise of uh, a whistle going on. Don't worry about that. But essentially, what I was doing right there is I've been reaching out to a couple of influencers. Number one is it's a great way to bring people in. We're going to be building out the BPI lifestyle brand. So I sent one to D Rock, which is the filming guy for Gary Vaynerchuk. I sent Gary Vaynerchuk one. Paul Rabel, who's the top lacrosse player and Simon Sinek who's my favorite author so we're gonna have a bunch of influencers on our show and we already booked Brian Cristiano who we're gonna be interviewing tomorrow have an awesome day let's go inside and make some phone calls talk to you soon did you know we we're filming today <laughs> no, I didn't want to say anything the last time. Oh, look at this, just coming from everywhere, York. There we go. <laughs> I, don't, I don't give enough to my college. They send me notes. Let's go make some phone calls. We interrupt this call session for a very important message by the Spartans of York College of Pennsylvania, my alma mater, the place that I know a lot of people are actually watching from. So a little shout out to you guys. This is where I went to school. No one's heard of it, but honestly, those four years made me who I was. To anyone that says, should I go to college, should I not go to college? It's all about the diploma, but it's more important about the relationships you meet and the person you become. So I think that's just in life in general. It's amazing. We're adding more and more equipment soon. <laughs> soon he's going to be a walking. Just like he's going to have that thing that you see in the MLB where they run around the bases and he's got this whole little contraption. When is the MTA not doing any kind of construction? It's amazing. I'm looking at this. It's either 19 minutes or 21 minutes. We're always in a rush. We're always needing to get somewhere at a certain time. It's crazy. Granted, this is probably like what it is in LA or Miami with traffic and driving. But New York, we have so many options. So many options. Dude, this is the exact train we need to be on. Except we gotta be there in like 10 minutes and it said 19 on the thing. So we might be late. We're going down to Bowery. We're gonna be meeting with an owner. I brought a buyer there. It, it was on the market, came off the market, and I brought a buyer on a Saturday. Really liked the space, just wasn't for him. But I'm gonna meet with her again and just say, hey, listen, what's the strategy going into 2018? And I'm also gonna be dropping off her storage keys that I, that I have as well. So we're gonna have something called the step counter watch. Currently it's uh, 10.35 right now. We have a uh, temperature of 73 degrees, heart rate of 95 degrees, and 5,600 steps already, 10.30. Highly recommend getting a watch, at least a step counter watch. The speed in which we move is just immense. It's immaculate, or any other I word you could think of. Impossible, imaginative. So I don't think she wants to get filmed, but we'll find out. Maybe she does. So just met with the owner and essentially the market is so week to week. It used to be quarter by quarter, month to month. Now it's like week to week. It depends on what's going on with the administration. It depends on what's going on locally, internationally. Is there money coming in from China, from South America, from even Miami, LA, Chicago, Boston, any of those other cities? So for me, what I was telling the owner is that we need to put this on the market literally the second week of January and see what the marketplace is doing because the marketplace could be this, then it's this, then it's this, then it's this. That's what we're discovering right now is what's the strategy we need for 2018. You think all the trees are actually, <laughs> those are the horns. I don't know if you heard that horn. That was like the weakest horn. That's a guy that just uses it too much. Can you replace a horn? That's my question. Do you think all the trees 
that are cut down and brought to New York City are used? You think every yeah. single one? No. We just saw like 50 trees. Are there that many people that are still in need? Well, you do have 13 days, so maybe. Always go strong with the sock game, if nothing else. It's ridiculous. They want the shoes to match the belt, to match the tie. Like, what? Just go strong with the socks. That's all that matters. Oh, man. Get that one on video? Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Welcome to me. Even those things I love. Can you make it? Ah, uh, fuck it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Indecision killed the cat. I was ready to go. Hesitation killed the cat, I know. That was all me, we were in the middle of the road and light was turning. This is something very, very simple where you see a roof, it's existing, and they transformed it into an it's what is gonna be an awesome summer spot for drinks. Really good restaurant, amazing rooftop, and that's a perfect example of just making use of space. I know Elon Musk is thinking about New York City and just sticking a bunch of sun panels so they can just energize all of the buildings that are in New York City. We were just talking about Gabby. This is her move every single time, and please call her out. We're gonna tag her on this one. She said she wanted 30 seconds of video, which is insanity. We can't do 30 seconds of video. This is exactly what she does every time. She flips her hair forward with her shoulder, and then she goes like that <laughs> every time. So please look out for it on future vlogs. What do I, I probably look like an, a maniac doing that, right, like that. I'm almost there with my hair length. All right, so we're hopping uh, Upper West Side. Tour a three bedroom, two bath, and it is gonna be nice. It's at the, it's a condo right off the park too. It's called the Sheffield. There's been a lot of history behind it. So if you guys don't have this app, I probably brought it up already. It is called Exit Strategy. If you travel in the subway, if you're a real estate agent or anyone at any time that uses the subway a lot, you have to get this. This is literally two blocks in between 55th and 57th. That is probably a 10 minute walk right there. And if you are gotta be there in a four minutes, this matters, so. Exit strategy, get it. Perfect timing. Just came back from 322 West 57th Street, the Sheffield, which always has a ton of apartments. Essentially what we're gonna be doing is we put it live on Instagram and Facebook, uh, put it out to you guys. Obviously you already saw the montage. Highly recommend you guys check it out. The owner's actually selling on his own and then we came in and he said, listen, we love you guys, we love what you're doing. We'll talk to you in about a month, month and a half after the holidays and of course we'll be the first ones that he calls. We're ending this one right here in the subway as people pass by and look at me, I love it. Vlog number 13 conclusion. If you guys have any questions, if you guys have any feedback, if you have anything, Charles at Botenston.com. The question of the day is, what is one thing that your real estate agent, your previous real estate agent did that you really liked? Again, Charles Botenston, talk to you guys soon. Vlog number 14, see you guys soon.